Very nice, very nice. All right, so. <clears throat> Any questions about it? Yes, I want to ask a question. For the woman, can you explain us to us please how we do the bolero not to push on the man's pants? Okay, the boleo, so you don't use your partner, <clears throat> you're going to have to get into a routine to do all the exercises we've been doing before. Yeah. Those exercises will give you the skill to really perform it that. Without those exercises, there's no fucking way. So that's why in this part of the class, we don't really talk about lead and follow. Do you understand? <clears throat> because if I, even if I correct you, you don't have the skills. So what's the point? You know? So right now we don't say what it is. Let, let me give you also another example so you relax a lot more. Right now, all of you are leading boleos like this. Right? Even if you know how to dance and you, you pretend that you do with your chest, basically you're doing this, right? So, and the game is like this. If you go to, now we go to the street and I grab a stranger and I do this to them, <coughs> see, they don't do this. You get it? So, what you are doing right now it's a semi-code, a semi-choreography that we agree, baby, we do this, please lift your leg up. <laughs> do you understand? This movement doesn't produce any leg to lift up. Yeah. I'll give you the really short, super extra fast explanation why legs lift up. <coughs> legs do lift up when the when uh, uh, women charge into one step and then we cut that step in the middle and that's why that leg gets hooked around. Do you understand? So if you do this, you are not leading any step to the outside, so there's no leg to lift up. The explanation I just gave to you requires like another hour of development. But I just tell you, relax because you're doing a choreography anyway even if you pretend that you do this it doesn't fucking matter she's lifting up because she's nice so that's it that's where we are today <clears throat> so let's take advantage we use it this means a uh, so what we're doing yeah let's do really really freaking fast this the difficulty of boleos is not in the movement itself, but it's done in the step before and in the step after. Okay? So this is what I want you to do now. She's going to call two steps. The one before the front boleo and the one after the front boleo. So if I'm a beginner first class, I will do one, front open. two, three, Four. She says front open, so it's front cross, front boleo, open, and one, open, two, back. three, four, open, front boleo, and back, and one, open, open. two, three, four, open, front boleo, open, and one, front, two, back, three, four, doesn't look difficult, does it? <laughs> <laughs> from Boleo and back and one, two, back, three, four, back from Boleo. No, sorry, open. That's it. Do it at your own speed. This relaxed. Go. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah? <coughs> well, this is like the first, um, let's say, taste of what improvisation is about. Uh, as you can see, the dance starts to get a lot more unexpected for you and for your partner. And now, I don't know if you noticed that, but you guys are really paying attention to each other. You know? Yeah, and that's where this, you know, this thing of connection that everybody's looking for? Well, it's about that about really fucking paying attention to each other and have a common language to develop. Uh, we don't have time to do, you know, everything that, that there is, but um, I, I want to do the last element and then we'll do some uh, cool, interesting stuff. So we will be approaching what really improvising is more about. So, which is some form of, of improvisation is li listening to some sound, you know, to some music, right? And reacting in real time. So that's what we are looking for. Yeah, this, I call it 100% improvisation. It's not the tango improvisation you've seen outside or you, are, you might be used to which is you learn a pattern of 10 steps, someone's put the music and you repeat that pattern. Yeah? That is traditional tango uh, improvisation. I'm a musician myself, so the problem of having a 10-step pat fixed pattern is that when you start that pattern with something you're listening to, Let's say that the sequence has a jump in the middle. Well, you don't know where that jump is going to fall with respect with the music you're listening to. So you have to start to pray that there's something going on. <laughs> you know, that justifies that jump in the middle. You get it? So that's why instead of that, I said, well, let's start to construct sequences, but by step-by-step -step decisions. You know, so you compose much more flexible and much more reflective with live music or with respect to what you need at the moment. Anyway, this is a short explanation of a very long training uh, process. That's what we are approaching. Now let's do women's ganchos. Yay! Because that's the last missing things that uh, I got from the request. Ah, now you want men's ganchos. <laughs> eh? Yeah. <laughs> now I don't think we have time, uh, but um, let's do women's gancho and we, if we have time, I'll give you some men's gancho. I don't think we do. We have only half an hour. Or, yeah, 45 minutes. <clears throat> so, we have a woman in front of us, three steps. Those three steps contain three ganchos. That's it. So, when she takes a back cross, right, the next step that happens in the same direction is this one. But if you put your leg here, I don't know why she does that. <laughs> and this we call it a gancho. Gancho means a hook. Her legs hooks up with mine. And boom. So that's a back cross, gancho. And to the other side is back cross and gancho. This is one of my legs. This is the other one. Whoop. So this is one leg. This is the other one. That simple. Do it. Fache, fache. <laughs> <laughs> you have it, right? Yes.
Yeah, everybody? Kind of? At least some version, you know? It doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you by uh, one thing that is uh, pervasive through all ganchos and it's about technique. How, how do you know your leg is in the perfect place? Right? So this is what you do. This is the back cross. You relax your leg, you put it somewhere. Yeah, and please push it back to me. See where it goes? That's it. See, so I'm taking her shape. It has nothing to do with your posture of your shape. The point of us putting our leg there is that we have to interfere her movement the less as possible so she can do that gancho. If you don't know where it is, relax it. Take it where it is, slowly. Warm. That's it. See how it hooks? Yes. Just answer me once in a while, you know, so I don't feel lonely. Yeah, boom. There you go. That's it. That is it. So, 30 seconds for this. Also, yeah. I discovered that I have to bring her very next to me. You don't have to bring anyone. You have to offer space so they go. Offer space very close to me. Yeah. Because then I have to like this. That's right. So, it's the opposite. See? <clears throat> Is the opposite of sacadas. You just make a, a, made a great point. Sacadas, we want her to take her step very far away from us, right? This back cross away. And right now we want her extremely close. Whoa. Because we are lazy dancers. So lazy, actually, that even my leg is there, see? And I'm putting her on top of my leg. I'm not, do if you do this, have you noticed that you go for the gancho and instead of the gancho, she takes a voleo, for example? <laughs> That's a typical issue. Just to show you that people don't follow your chest or what you think. They follow the direction you are imprinting. So if you do this, you know, this creates that direction and that's where you were getting the voleo. So if you go on a gancho, the direction we are imprinting is on my back. It's right on my back. It's right there. Whoa. Exactly where you want that leg to go. Yeah? Go. Yeah, all right. So, I know I'm rushing you a bit, huh? I'm aware of that. Yeah. But... That's it. We don't have much time. So, we have a gancho on a back cross. Now we want a gancho on open step. What is the structure of that? It is what we did before. Open step from boleo. Open step from boleo. If I put my leg in between, that's a gancho. So it's the same lead. Whoop. And there you go. This is an open step. I put my leg in. I don't know why, but she does that. Boom. That's it. Boom. And then you're out. If she doesn't does that, ask her nicely and she will. Yeah? Go. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's it. So, yeah, is it working? Do we all have some kind of version of, of it? Yeah, everybody? All right. So, what's next? That's it. Front cross gancho. So, how do we learn it? It's a front cross from boleo. Remember, what you did before is front cross from boleo. If I put my leg in the middle, front cross, gancho. That's it. 
front cross gancho. It's okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so any problems? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm having trouble with um, getting that to just to do a front cross because um, the only way I know how to do front cross is to do like give space and then she crosses it in front of you. Or okay. I'm like thinking, okay, I want to cross. I don't know if I step and she just sort of steps. Than, you know what I mean? uh, can you say it again? Can I show you? Okay, show me. So, so, I, so I wanted to do it across this way, and, like, mm-hmm. and sometimes they, they don't, they do something else. Okay. But I, I haven't even talked to you there. Yeah, they, they, they are like that, you know? <laughs> I know. I know. We, we haven't solved it yet. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 I know what you mean. It's not, uh, I'll tell you a very quick explanation. Um, even though at this stage we, are, we usually don't deal with leads. But you, when, when you open a door for someone, see, if you are coming this way and I have to show you, you know, I'm a, we're in a restaurant and I have to show you your table. See, I do show you the table with a gesture. And that table has a place to be and it has a direction, right? And I'm not responsible for you to walk to the table. You get it? I'm not like this, you know? I'm not doing this to you to see if you come or not. You get it? Because that's not your responsibility. With this, I mean her rotation like this it's not your issue, it's not your problem. You don't have to lead a rotation. You just have to lead a direction. You get it? The more proficient you get with these gestures and points in space, the easier it is for her to understand that it's a front cross or a back cross. So you are on one leg, show me which leg you want, lift the other one. So see, this for her, for me, let's say if the table is there, that's an obvious one. Right? So what about if the table is over there? See how she cheats already on me? <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's how they are, you know? <laughs> you have to deal with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's it. Start to... Uh, the most spread th- these directions are apart, the, the easier it is to under- so they understand you. You get it? If, if these directions, instead of outside on space, you know, we start to be very near each other, like this is one direction and this is the other one, well, it gets confusing. But if you are here, yeah, show me always one leg. All right, so if you want a back cross, for example, an obvious one will be where you are. So this is the direction. That's it. See, I don't have to make her rotate. Yeah? I want to make her uh, do a back uh, cross in the same direction, like cross or back cross, but the same direction. What would you do differently? Does that make sense? Yes. Like, and every answer will be, pick the direction you want that leg to go. That's it, man. You get it? If she's here, right, and you want a back cross, she's ready already. See, she already picked up the, the whole game. Any, anyway, at the beginning it seems hard, but believe me, it's, it's not hard. See, when you want something, you know, and you let express it, they pick it up. See, uh, I do this, see, she already knows, and I'm not twisting her or anything like that. It's that simple. So if you want one direction, for example, there, this is what you lead. If you want it back, it's the opposite. There you go. That's it. Yeah? Thanks. It's a lot simpler than, it, than you think if you think it as a human being. If you start with a bullshit technique that she's a robot, so you have to lead her a step, and then you have to do this with her 
because she's a moron and then she doesn't know that she has to rotate. Yeah, well, the dance it gets infinitely nonsensical and complex for no reason. If you think, if you think it in simple terms, um, you know, it is simple. So your best proof that you can dance as a follower, as a woman, or as a leader, as a man, is to grab a beginner. Because beginners don't know your bullshit. And they will react what you lead them to. That's it. And for followers, the same thing. You want to know if you are active or not? Grab a beginner and have a dance and see what's up. If you have a bad dance, you are sleeping. You are doing nothing than just, eh, he didn't lead me. If you start to put on, if you start to help your partner and promote dance, you will have a great time. And you will do a lot more. Anyhow, let's back up. Any questions with respect to the gancho? No questions? Don't you wonder why the leg doesn't fucking fit, for example? <laughs> no? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the same game is for all ganchos. What we are looking for is to hide our leg into the leg she's standing in. So she's going to be standing on this baby, right? So I really match her position. See this? And even when he's entering in like this, I put my knee in. So my knee is very close to the knee she's standing on. See this? If the knee gets spread apart, this is what happens. She starts to try to fade. Yeah, and do it. See how difficult it is? Yeah. See? So it's the knee. In this gancho, in the open step, it's the same thing. I'm putting my knee into her. If it's spread apart, the knee, see? A lot of starts to think. The same thing on the back cross. My knee is on this knee. Whoa, right there. If it starts to play apart, she has to start to accommodate and stuff. That's our job to hide our leg into her leg. As a follower, an active follower, you have to do the freaking gancho no matter where the knee is. You understand? So if the knee is half away, this is what you do. I don't care. But you have to fix it. But you have to fix the damn thing. <laughs> Sorry, you know, but... <laughs> and this is, by the way, it's not so extreme as, if you, as you think. Eh? Of course, I've, I've changed this and I present it to you right away. But, for example, if I'm dancing with my... one of my best partners, you know, in, in whatever show, in whatever fashion, whatever we were doing, I'm going to share a secret with you, with women. And first, I have to ask permission. The guy, can I share our secret? It's a guy. It's a man's secret that we have been hiding f from you for a lot of years. If I have the man's permission, I, I will. Yeah, should I, can I? Can I say? <laughs> All right. So this this for women, girls. We are not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, you know, that means that even myself, that I'm the master of this technique, one point I'm going to fuck it up and I'm not going to put that knee where it's supposed to be. You get it? So, <clears throat> because you are dancing with me and you are collaborating with me, you have to fix the fucking thing. That's it. You will never get the perfect lead forever. So part of your dance is making your partner feel comfortable with what's going on. So once you develop that, you can dance with beginners and have fun and contribute. It's not the same as dancing with me or dancing with advances, but you have to have the tools to fix and collaborate to your partner 
all the time. That's what I mean with an active following. Yeah? Uh, well, that one, that went too long. So, we have... Now no, my part gets easier and yours more difficult. We have all front sakas. We have all men's back sakas. We have all front boleos. And we have all women's ganchos on every step. That means any step you see in front of you, you can do front sacada, back sacada, front boleo and gancho. That's it. So every couple, I want you to make a fixed sequence that has to contain in this order with no steps in between. Back sacada, gancho, front sacada, boleo. Doesn't matter the step. Back sacada, gancho, front sacada, boleo. That's one version. Take your time. If you are on one leg, you already know how to do. Back sacadas, ganchos, front boleos, uh, and then boleo. Yes. The order of the elements, not the steps. Yeah, is it clear? Yeah. If you are more a beginner, you create the first sequence and you repeat that one. Do we agree for more? Yeah? You just grab one. You say, whatever. Now I want the open step. For whatever. Well, this is a back sacada. You already know it. Then you want the gancho. So let's take a back cross. And that's the gancho. You get it? You know how to pull already. If you are more advanced, you keep the damn thing going on forever. So it is. Uh, so back sacada, gancho, front sacada, front boleo, and back sacada, and gancho, and front sacada, and front boleo, and back sacada, and gancho, and front sacada, front boleo, and back sacada. You get it? You cycle through. You, you too. Yeah? Good luck. <laughs>
One more time. Back sacada, gancho. Front sacada, voleo. One more time. Back sacada, gancho. Front sacada, voleo. All right, all right. All right. Did you notice that their first two steps were this, uh, the same as you two guys? This is just one way. You, you know, <clears throat> you only know what is traditional or not traditional, see, if you know structure. If you don't know structure, basically you see someone in a suit and a woman in a dress and say, wow, that's very traditional. Well, that's not it. You know? uh, what, what I mean, or what we mean, the people we understand dance, what is traditional, is because these sequences and these combinations, there's one of those combinations that is very natural very easy to do and that's why these three lazy guys <laughs> you know what i mean they pick the 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 positions that has less resistance you know they are more natural to you guess what that's traditional tango you get it then it came people like us that we get bored easily and say, fuck it, let's change this thing. <laughs> so it's, at the beginning, it's not that comfortable. It's a little, mm, you know, against the fucking thing that your body wants to do if you just let it loose. You get it? So that's why we are learning a structure to start to know what the heck is what. When you see me dancing, it looks smooth and nice, and then when you try to do it, you say, fuck, this is a nightmare, you know? And guess what? It is a nightmare. <laughs> you get it? <clears throat> so, one more. You can be a volunteer, I can pick, huh? Yeah, all right, we have a brave one. It's the same. All right, that's good. We want to see if it's true only. No? Back sacada, gancho. Back sacada, gancho, front sacada, front boleo. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. So, you guys are a perfect example of lazy behavior. <laughs> so, <clears throat> What do you do to get out of that, you know, to challenge yourself so you don't get bored repeating the same fucking thing over and over? You start to cycle through. That's why we do cycle. So you never stop. You do back sacada, gancho, uh, boleo, front sacada, and then you start right there. Probably will give you another combination. Probably. Even that starts to fucking sequence again. There's no fucking end of this sequence again. So you have to play trick over trick over trick over trick to get you out of those loops. That's what we do. Last exercise we're going to do. So we get even closer to what real improvisation is or 100% improvisation is, is. Right now, you are on your own time, on your own world. Right? <coughs> Uh, with exercises that you know what the exercise is and you pick. So now I'm going to take that role. So it's something outside of you. And now I will ask you what to do. And I will say, let's do a front cross. You're going to be dancing. And it's one, two, three, four. And the better the whole room does a front cross, if not, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> See what I mean? So the transition is first you count so it's easy, then I count so it gets a little risky and finally, eventually the music will mean something to you and the music will start to ask you for stuff. That's the easy transition through. So let's dance a little bit and I'll tell you what to do. Yeah? Ah. 
uh, one thing to clarify. Uh, <clears throat> right now, one, two, three, four doesn't mean steps anymore. It only means time. So this is how easy the exercise can be. I'll be counting. If I may be, this can be done by a beginner first class that didn't even take everything we have done. Yes. How they will do it? They will hear me saying one, two, and I will be setting up the front cross without doing it. One, two, three, four, front cross. This is fine. And one, two, three, four, front cross. So now what's important is the element in time. You get it? So from this easy until whatever you can manage. You move around, anything. But if you cannot move around, if you miss the first one, and if you miss the second one, stop running. Stop running. Stay on one leg, set it up, and wait for the damn thing. And when it comes, boom, you just do it. Here we go again. Front row, 
Cross Men's from Sakaha. And one, two, three, four. Front Cross Open Step. Yeah, with Men's from Sakaha. And one, two, three, four. Front Cross Open Step. And one, two, three, four, front cross, open step. Now it's going to be front cross, keep dancing, don't look at me. Use your ears. <laughs> yeah, you're all scared now, aren't you? <laughs> so, it's going to be front cross, from Boleo. And one, two, three, four. From cross, from Boleo. It's going to be from cross, from Boleo, back cross. One, two, three, four. From cross, from Boleo, back cross. Yeah. And one, two, three, Four, front cross, front boleo, back cross. And one, two, three, four, front cross, front boleo, back cross. On that back cross, stop looking at me and keep dancing. Use the things next to your head. The ears, there you go. <laughs> That's it. So on her back cross is going to come the gancho. So it's gonna be front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Yeah. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. One, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. One, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. And one, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Change partners. One, two, three, four. Front cross, front boleo, back cross, gancho. Very good. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey. Very nice, huh? <laughs> very nice. Finally, eh? Finally, you're behaving. So, <clears throat> this, by the way, what everything we have done, uh, it's, a, it's a training. It's called Tango Discovery. We have a school online that it lasts one year where we send you videos every week of what you have to practice. And these are all the exercises and a lot more, actually, to get you deep enough. We can get anyone, at least in one year, 
we may be able to say in, a, in an advanced class, uh, gancho, gancho, voleo, sacada, barrida. One, two, three, four. Gancho, gancho, voleo, sacada, barrida. Voleo, gancho, sacada, barrida. One, two, three, four. Voleo, gancho, sacada, barrida. One, 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 one. So that's the point. <coughs> yeah. That what I call 100% improvisation. Anytime she's on, on one leg, you know the whole game. There's no running anymore for steps, no running anymore to, to find your position or stuff like that. The second year comes composition. You know, because right now we are studying this as, as, a, as a musician. Let's say if you have an instrument, we are playing all the notes, all the available notes. Some of these combinations will look very nice, some of them will look very weird, you know, and, and, and against kind of the body's nature. Usually that's the, those are the ones I like, the weird ones. But anyway, let's say you don't like them or whatever, then after knowledge, you edit what you like and what you don't like. You don't do like everybody else that they edit before having the knowledge. Which is, for example, saying, yes, I dance traditional tango and that's what I like. So you ask, well, do you know how to dance something more nuevo? No. So then how the fuck do you know if you like it or not? You know? So you know if you like it or not after you master things. If you do it before, it's just speculation on your part, and you have no clue of what you're saying. It would be like going to an ice cream store and, I say, and saying, I don't like chocolate, I don't like vanilla, I don't like uh, frambuesa. Have you ever tasted them? No. So how the fuck do you know? <laughs> you get it? So... This is just to tell you that what we are doing right now is not your final form of dance. You get it? You're not going to be doing anything. You're going to get more picky over time. Wow, I love this little combination. I love this here. So you're going to have a lot more resources to start to build up your own personality with respect to what we are doing. This is how fast can it go. Uh, Eugene is going to keep his classes. Uh, some of you I know that you're going to get into this video program, so next time I come, we can start to build up a lot more, a lot easier, and a lot faster. Because um, everything we've done here really, really is the basics of the dance. Eh? It, it's not advanced. Just think about it. We did this in just six hours. You get it? If this were difficult, there's no fucking way we can do that in six hours. You know, if you go to a ballet class and they say, you know, we're gonna do some difficult thing, it takes fucking months, years of training to do something really difficult. So this means that if we can do all of this stuff in six hours, I mean, we are fine. This is just the basic of the games. Believe me, if you think this is difficult, you have seen nothing yet. <laughs> There's a lot more here than you imagine, really. Uh, but uh, you did great. Uh, thank you for all of you for coming, even though you are looking at me seriously again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what did I did to you. But <laughs> anyway, uh, you did a great class. Thank you very much for showing up. Thanks to... Eugene, thank you very much. Thanks uh, to Tamara to come from Croatia. And we are all building up Tango Discovery Schools also in other places. Uh, being that said, uh, am I forgetting something? No, I think what I said. Thank you very much. And let's party. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.